So today I'm going to be showing you how to use vocal mixing to go from this The less I know, the better I do To this The less I know, the better I do All just using stock plugins that you find in FL Studio if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you can get alerted every time I post a new video on music production for songwriters and music producers. Now vocal mixing can feel like a really daunting thing when you're first starting out in FL Studio, so today I'm going to be walking you through how to get a good basic vocal mix inside of FL Studio using just the stock plugins that are available there. So let's jump in. So I opened up this vocal mixing template that I put together. It's just a basic thing that has a couple of presets on some stock plugins that are in FL Studio. And then I'm gonna drag in the files that I'm gonna use for this project. So for this project, I have an acoustic guitar, bass, drums, electric, um, some background vocals, and then the lead vocal. So this audio file, that's the labeled as the Vox. I'm gonna make sure that I route that to this channel five, which is set up for the vocal. So I'll do that by using that control L. Now you can see that that channel is routed in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the rest of these and then do a control shift L and that'll put everything into it. So this is what we currently have at the moment. You'll notice here on the vocal channel, the main box channel, that there's an EQ, an overdrive limiter, which I'm using as compressor, Maximus, which is using, uh, being used as a de -esser, another compressor, and then sound goodizer. And all of those are off right now, because I just want the, the sound of everything as it is right now, so you can hear it a little bit. The less I know, the better I do. Alright, so you get the idea. So now what I'm going to do is actually go into the vocal and start dialing in some of those things. So the first effect that I have is the actual EQ. So you'll notice that the EQ is already set up with a high pass filter on to, to cut out some of the low parts of the vocal. And then I have this dip sitting around this 300 mark. And usually I find with my voice that I have a little bit of the boxiness when I'm recording around that 300, 400. So I'll dial that in as we get going. And then I also set up this little bit of a bump around this uh, 2K. And that is just for some presence in the vocal if I need it. Sometimes you don't. And then I have a little bit of a high boost um, at the end, a little shelf on the end of that. So let's hear engaging that one and then sweeping around for a couple of those trouble frequencies and get that a little more dialed in. The less I know, the better I do. Especially darling when it comes to you. I just know I'm on the tree too. So I like that. So then the next thing I'm gonna do is actually engage this um, overdrive. And really all this is, is using it for saturation. So we're just adding some harmonics to the vocal just to fill it out a little bit more from what was there already. So I'm not gonna use a ton on this. It'll just be pretty subtle. So I'll dial it up kind of heavy and then dial it back so you can hear the effect of what that's doing to the voice. Less I know the better I do Especially darling when it comes to you I just know I'm on the tree too late So just add a little bit of that in and then we're gonna add in the compressor turn that on and so you'll notice that I have a threshold and a little bit of a ratio set up. And all I'm gonna do is go through where some of the peaks are and just try to level out the clip a little bit. So let's listen to that and do that right now. The less I know, the better I do. Especially darling when it comes to you. I 
I just know I'm on the tree today. All right, and then the next thing that we're using is Maximus, and I'm really just using this as a de-esser. Uh, so let me walk you through this a little bit. So de-esser plugins, usually what they're doing, if you look at the bands, they're just compressing the high part of the vocal where you'll find the T's and the S's, so the plosive sounds and those kinds of things. And usually those are set up somewhere around that like five kilohertz range. And so all I'm doing with this plugin is dialing in that high band for about that five kilohertz. And then I'm coming over to this section over here and setting up the compressor to only deal with uh, just the S's and the T's. So we'll play through this and you'll see that some of those peaks will get knocked down when I say T's or really harsh S's. So let's just listen to that real quick and dial that in. The less I know, the better I do. Especially darling when it comes to you I just know I'm on the tree today So come on baby with me tonight yeah. Alright so that sounds pretty good It's just taking away a little bit of the T's and the S's And then I'm going to come in here with this uh, next compressor and this is where we're going to do a little more of the work and we're going to get some of the gain back on that vocal so again I'm using the threshold and the ratio and we'll also potentially use the noise gate as we bring things up just to make sure that the noise is not added in from the vocal so let's see what we got the less I know the better I do especially darling when it comes to you I just know I'm on the tree today So come on baby with me tonight Yeah Alright, that sounds pretty good And then the last thing that we're gonna do is use a little bit of sound goodizer And really all I'm doing is just accentuating a part of the vocal So if I need to accentuate the highs, I'll use this setting over that's at D if I'm using mids or low mids, I'll be using B or C, or if I wanna work on the lows themselves, then I'll probably use that A setting. So we'll take it in, I'll dial it up a little bit more, and then bring it back down some so you can hear the effect of it. The less I know, the better I do. The less I know, the better I do. So I think I like that. The less I know, the better I do. Especially darling when it comes to you. If this video is helping you out, go ahead and crush that like button. All right, so then the next thing that I'm going to be doing, if you look here, I have some sends that are set up for the vocal effects. So I have a slap delay, a regular delay, the a plate reverb and then a larger room reverb um, so i'll come back in here i'll dial in a little bit of the slap delay and mess with some of the settings on that and then we'll go from there the less i know the better i do especially darling when it comes to you I just know I'm on the tree today The less I know, the better I do Especially darling when it comes to you The less I know, the better I do Especially darling when it comes to you I just know I'm on the tree today So come on baby with me tonight yeah. The less I know, the better I do 
Especially darling when it comes to you I just know I'm gonna treat you right So come on baby with me tonight The less I know, the better I do Especially darling when it comes to you All right, so I think I have those settings dialed in a little bit better. Um, so let's listen to what it sounded like beforehand. So I'm going to turn off the effects. And this is as is. The less I know, the better I do Especially darling when it comes to you And then with the effects engaged again The less I know, the better I do Especially darling when it comes to you so that's one of the things that I've been trying to work on in my music is setting up things that'll help me work a little bit faster. So I ended up building this basic template with just stock plugins from FL Studio so that I could pretty quickly put together a vocal mix uh, that does pretty well. It's not everything. I'll still be tweaking it and dialing it as I go, but it's helpful for me to have something that I can very quickly pull up and then do a lot of the basic things that I need to do again and again on a mix. If you are frustrated with vocal production and you just want a simple template that you can use when you get started in your mixes, then click the link in the description below and I will send you the template that I'm using today that you can use as a great start point for your vocal mixes on your next project. And be sure to check out this next video where I'll show you how to process background vocals with the lead vocal. And I will see you in the next round.